Hello everybody, it's Catherine and it's day three, December dailies. So today, um, well, more of the same I suppose. So welcome, welcome everybody, welcome to any new subscribers and I thought I'd just show you my Tuesday Square, the last one of our slow stitch project and um, what we had was <laughs> I didn't know he was going to do that. He's remembered. Be right. Oh dear, I've won again. Yeah. Have you been waiting to do that all morning? <laughs> do you want to? Oh, I think it's slip. A... Yeah, but there's nothing else in it. You what? There's no hat in today. Oh, Ooh, wait a minute. Be... Might be a joke. Is it not? There's a joke, David. Oh, heck. Oh, it's a tome. The history of Tom Smith. Who's Tom Smith? Does anybody know Tom Smith? Oh, there is. There's a blue hat. Do you want to read this tome out of who Tom yeah. Smith is? Lovely blue hat. I am saving these hats. I ought to really, whatever colour hat comes out, I ought to put a bit of that on my day. Oh, I've got my glasses on. I need to take them off. OK, I shall read it out to you. I wasn't going to, it's a great big tome. It was on the trip to Paris in 1840 that an adventurous and forward-thinking Tom Smith discovered bonbon sugared almond wrapped in a twist of tissue paper. Seven years later this simple idea involved, evolved into the Christmas cracker. Oh, I didn't know that. So that's a good pub quiz question, isn't it? Who, disco who evolved the Christmas cracker, Tom Smith? By placing a small love motto in the tissue paper, he created enormous interest in this product, especially at Christmas, and it was during a search for inspiration to achieve even greater sales that he casually threw a log on the fire. The crackle sound made by the burning log gave him the idea that would eventually lead to the crackers we know and love today. Well, I would say the crackers we know and love from when we were growing up were fantastic, but that was a bit of a, they're a bit of a damp squid unless you pay a lot of money these days, aren't they? Over the next few years, his idea evolved and grew and he moved from his original premises in Clerkenwell, East London, to Finsbury Square in the city. His sons Tom, Walter and Henry took over the business when he died and later a drinking fountain was erected in Finsbury Square by Walter in memory of his mother and to commemorate the life of the man who invented the Christmas cracker. Oh, there you oh. It was Walter who introduced the paper hats and he toured the world to find new and unusual ideas for gifts. The company was very aware of current affairs and crackers were created for the suffragettes, war heroes, Charlie Chaplin, the coronation and many other great occasions. Exclusive crackers were also made for the royal family and still are to this day. So, Tom Smith crackers, the Smith crackers by royal appointment. Mmm, mm. yes. got a paper clip. Well actually, that's really nice for a crafter. It would deliver to the Queen and say... Your crackers, milady. Ma'am. Ma you have to say ma'am. Oh. We're watching the royal, it's, isn't it? You can't say ma'am, it's ma'am. As in spam. Ham. <laughs> Damn. All right, All right that'll do. Table. We get it. Yeah. <laughs> right, onwards and upwards. Don't take it away. I'm going to put it in my journal. That's nice. We've learned something, haven't we, everybody? You probably already... I know some people. Let me know if you knew that. I didn't. Okay, so... Last square for our slow stitch project and we had running stitch and dark green. So I've got running stitch, I've got some dark green. I've put... Oh, you're right. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I've put my last piece of uh, favourite sari silk. Did it click off then? No. No? Um, a, a bit of my edging that I like with the circles on. I've been hoarding that bit of uh, trim. I've been hoarding that bit of lovely vintage lace. Uh, at the background, it's some of my handmade um, 
background made with fibres with chiffon on the top and another bit of lace that I was hoarding so yeah the last one so we'll have a new project starting everybody in January new slow stitch project new stitch project for Stitch Tuesdays okay so let me put that over there um, yes what have we got today my choice baubles star and holly baubles star and holly and let me just uh, quickly before we start I just want to bring this in just to let you know there's two left in the shop these are the special offer bundles and uh, this particular one has got a little piece of material like my cover to make a small journal with uh, they are 65 GBP Great British Pounds there's over 85 pounds worth of stuff there are two journals in here that aren't Christmas related there's a right mixture uh, I'm rustling sorry and it's got some of my vintage sari silk so there are two left and uh, yeah you need to be on them quickly if you want them to be posted I'm getting short on, on, on uh, postage time now we're in December okay so here we go what did I finish off yesterday we had my tree now what I decided to do yesterday was I'm putting some material tabs you know I said um, that I've made a load of slow stitch snippety bits I like that one I'm not trying to use that today is there one or two no there's two there look two um <clears throat> so I put one on the edge of number one and then I put one on there on and it got I found a bit of edge in there look with the Christmas tree on I was so excited can you believe it <laughs> I'm sure my neighbours think that oh crack he was living next door because who else would get excited about a bit of thread there with Christmas tree on so yeah now we're on to day three so bauble star and holly and I thought you know I'm going to celebrate this big journaling card or you can use it as a uh, writing board in um, our Sherwood Forest Christmas Digitals and uh, yeah I'm going to stick that in there a bit of scrappy paper there and it's got all lovely holly in the basket David produced these if you're new here our first, very first digital kit and holly all around this bell we've got the first day of Christmas music in the background a lovely holly border so I thought well that encompasses loads of lovely things for today's challenge okay so I think um, you forget to use your own stuff don't you sometimes this is our first kit and I've been using it and making loads of tags and things to send to people but I've forgotten about using it in here and I'm going to use some of the uh, the ephemera add-on kit and I was all excited because I watched Patricia Viramonte she's an amazing crafter and uh, you know up there with the stars I look as if they were film stars like the likes of Rachel and uh, Patricia Viramontes I've been watching a long time oh and she's made a new Christmas journal and lo and behold there were some of our our ephemera stuck in it yeah I mean I knew she'd bought the kit but I, you know she used it and I'm so excited <laughs> oh dear so um it reminded me really that I should be using it myself shouldn't I so I am a great big sheet of it I'm going to glue that now then I've got my glue book out of the way because uh, do you notice I hope you're enjoying this new scene David's ordered a boom boom is it a boom arm um, but his big heavy camera it's supposed to be uh, able to take the weight of it but we're, we're holding on with a wing and a prayer here a wing and a pair and it a wing and a prayer and a tin of paint holding this <laughs> holding this as a counterweight yes the tripod down uh so let me know what you think i'm hoping you can see things a lot clearer i'm just gluing this i'm off camera i know david you could do something while i'm haven't you got a joke today no well i came out with one earlier can you talk louder 
We all know, yeah, but you talk right soft and you don't. What do, do you do? You don't talk soft normally. I do. I don't want to frighten them away. What with? Oh. <laughs> it's like Tweedledum and Tweedledee, us two. Dare we say. Yes. I've got I a perfect be... voice. Have you? Yes. I can be... being silent. It's the quiet silent type is our David and not Yes. I can be I can be quiet, can't I? Where? I know it. Oh, you are. Do you know? I I um. I can be. I can be quiet and I can be serious. Yeah. I used to have a very high profile job, didn't I? Mm. In nursing. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I used to uh, lecture all over the UK and things. So. Probably my Yorkshire accent's got a bit bit more lax since I've been retired, eh? Since you've been with me. <laughs> well, you're not a Yorkshireman, so there, I don't get that. Mm -hmm. You're a Nottinghamshire man, born and bred. So, no, I'm just going to cut this off. There we go. Okay, so, ooh, looking lovely. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me put my lid on my glue. Okay, now then. <clears throat> so I've put our, I've got a, one of the snippets clusters that uh, I made in day one, and I've put number three on it. I've put a bit of sparkly trim around there. I've put baubles on there, um, and I've got to add a star. So I've made a star. Please don't laugh at it. <laughs> It's coming in now. It's coming. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's good enough, isn't it? It's good enough. I'm, uh, well, I've had to stick a bit on there and I had a bit of accident with that. And uh, yeah, I like the sparkly bit in the middle. Um, but I think it's quite effective. Um, I think I'm better at sewing than I am at making stars <laughs> but um what we've got on the other side oh yeah i've got a lovely one of these is um penny souther so penny has a penny souther has a channel uh and a um group facebook group and this time last year she sent me this i'd stuck it in we did a swap and I stuck it in last year and as I say this was last year's journal that I didn't use. So that's on the next page but I'm wondering if we can, um, that there, I'm going to see if I can uh, put something through it and hang our star. I'm going to hang our star there because it will be, uh, ouch, ouch, sorry. Sorry guys, it's this boomerang thing, I've knocked it. Let me move that up a bit more. That's better. It's because my glasses are on my head. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good, I've got that on there. Now I'm going to uh, see what I'm going to put through. Yes, them too. I feel like I'm a I'm a messy crafter today. I seem to have got stuff everywhere. I don't know. I can't cope with it being everywhere. Right. Okay. This is last bit of my favourite. Is it going to go through there? Yeah, I think so. See, that usually goes on there. Oh, it's one of them days today. One of those days. Let me get my pokey tool. You know, if we're filming every day for 24 days, you'll just have to get warts and all. Mistakes. <laughs> oh, I just can't get it through. It's all right, I'm all right. That's it. 
pokey tool to the rescue. Ugh. Yes, look at that, lovely. Lovely, lovely, my fave. That's my favourite. I'm going to put a bit of... It's a bit unruly, so I'm just going to put a bit of this as... I don't know where I got this from, I've had it a while. It's uh, paper string. What are you woofing at? What are you growling at, Nelson? Is he? He's got... Let's see. He's not going to chew today. He hasn't got one left. So the... Uh, the dog is out. Is dog toy. <laughs> I keep putting his dog toys on top of a. He's got. I've got a throw over the the sofa, where he keeps looking out the window, and I put his dog toys on there. And one by one, he slings them over the arm of the sofa because that's his place. Funny how they behave, isn't it? There's nothing. Uh, new to report so i hope you're all doing well it was oh i got some lovely messages yesterday it was lovely to hear from you all and uh, yes it was great i think we're going to have some fun i can't tie bows very well oh now then let's pull that a bit and that a bit right Right you are, that's nice. The bin's down here. Do we need a bit of that off? No, I want to leave that. I want to leave that, it's my favourite. A bit of trim. I'm just trying to organise my space a bit because I can't cope with, I can't cope with stuff all over. Oh, thank you, David. Thank you, darling. Lovely. Oh, sorry. I'm not used, I'm going to knock myself out with this new thing above my head. Let me just have a drink, I'm stressed. Oh, that's lovely. Right, okay. So, I like that. That looks really nice on there. So, it's made my bodgy star, as Rachel says, bodgy crafting, my bodgy star. But I like that page now because I've got this lovely... I love that. I love that actually as a, a journaling card with fab to write on. Okay, so I'm going to put that back on there now. I just want to put another edge in on and then this, this book, this journal's done, finished. I've not found my quilting uh, safety pins yet. When I do, I shall make something for there. Okay. Right, so we see I've got that down there, so I think these are a bit a bit too much. Oh, have you got a sneeze now, Steph? I'm sneezing. Hey, what are you sneezing for? Hey, let's find. Let's get a few out and see. I don't want anything too big. Um, about that. Now, they're all going to cover that up, aren't they? I know, that'll do, that'll be okay, I think. I say that'll be okay and then I carry on. We'll see. Let's put those back. See how it's handy to have these few bits and bobs made. And um, oh, right then, I've got to be careful, mindful of what's on the other side. Now that to there. Okay. Fingers crossed. That this is going to work. <clears throat> yep. 
yeah I think that's okay I don't think I want it any lower now it needs to be there else it'll cover them cherubs up what about if I have it right at the top no it's going to interfere with my star okay then I'll put uh, some glue on this so this tab is done I've got a thing lately I'm right enjoying putting scraps of things on to make tabs at the minute and uh, I'm enjoying it right use your thing out the cracker see if it had to I don't it clipped. I don't know as if that's going to be tight enough no no it, no, it won't let me get me uh let me put, can you see a thing in there David because I've got my glasses and I can't see yeah. one of my little bulldog things yeah, well, you've tied it up I oh, know that's trouble it <laughs> tidied up can't find anything I know I've got one on here I'll take it, that one off oh well my thing will come unraveled if I take that off where is it? I had a few out oh they're here look they're in there I put them in there see when you're in a mess more of a mess that's it we'll leave that you can find stuff better yes I'm happy with that um, just shows just sort of putting a bit of an eyelet on and a bit of uh, sari and uh, oh what are these pair doing here they've dropped out of me I'm thinking that's quite nice there quite like that ah what are you doing growling what are you doing to poor Bentley? People don't want to see Bentley. Scruffy article he is. I want to put that on there. I like it. This is not uh, not stuck down very well, that has it. It's quite thick, this card. It's about uh, 200. For the, I, because I did them all for, um, so I did some for the uh, December journal packs that, um, as a writing board. So I used the stiffest card we'd got, which is a two, well, 200. It's like paper going on to just going into card really at 200 GSM. Right, okay. I'm liking that. I'm going to put that down and we'll get our next one out. Now, I'd already made a start on this so this is our other our other uh, journal this is the uh, Sherwood Forest journal and a lot of people were asking about the introduction and David's put that together and uh, yeah we, we use that a few times when I've done vlogmas um, more often than that, I've, other years I've done vlogmas for my booktube channel Jane Catherine on books and um, it is actually Sherwood Forest for those of you that are new sorry I'm repeating myself but it's Sherwood Forest in Nottinghamshire you know where Robin Hood used to live ha ha and um, they're all scenes from when we got snowed in one year and actually the walk up to the major oak the royal oak which is um, known as the tree where Robin Hood and his merry men used to hide inside and so the photos are all from around there and that those photos are the ones that have been used to make our Sherwood Forest digital Christmas digitals um, so yeah for those that have been asking I've answered it Sherwood Forest but if you want to look at that further uh, in the Etsy shop that's there the some of the images we've used on those right so number one i've used some of my uh scrappy trim snippet roll trim and uh i'm putting edges on so we know what page we're in so yeah that was yesterday thank you very much for liking that number two on the edge there now then you see <laughs> it's a bit addictive this it's addict very addictive because i think there's no 
there's no holes barred is there i think that's the thing you know if you're making a certain journal with a certain theme you, you know you you are quite controlled i suppose there's this element of control in what you do but on here i'm just you know throwing caution to the wind and doing whatever clashy clashy or anything so i started doing this last night and i got a bit carried away and thought i better start this is day three uh, um, so i've got made my day three with just a bit of fabric and i thought I, i've got that in my stash thought that went nice because i've cut some baubles out and i'm going to color those in we're going to have a bit of a color and um and uh yeah so for the ivy i've used to uh, to uh i need to do a hole in that don't i do something else with it later on because apparently our time is pressing so i'll put a hole in that one and these are just tags from the kit and then on here just put some lovely seam binding and a little dangle that i got from carol parker and i've made a little scrappy pad on the back of that um, i've made a pocket down here with a bit of music paper um i've got a star so actually this star wants sticking on and i've made it out of one of the circles uh in the ephemera kit in our ephemera kit yeah get rid of that page and i've put a couple of presents at the bottom and another christmas tree so i've drawn these baubles on and i've got my star i've got my holly but then i i found in my coloring book that i've had a few years a christmas coloring book a page of baubles page of baubles guys uh for coloring in so i've hinged that on and uh yeah i'm going to color that in and i think that'll be uh that'll be great i've just put again this this bit here is the walk up to sherwood forest uh, a walk up to the major oak tree and uh, i've put a bit more ivy on and uh, a tab on there i think that looks great so this is day three on in this book so all i was going to carry on doing I, i'll do it off camera now because i know we're quite short of time uh is i'm going to do some coloring in i've got these pencils that i've had quite a long while the staedtler staid staid -tler. Staedtler, I think they're German, but they are they have got nice pigment colour. They're not watercolours, they're just ordinary crayons. Right. So I will show you this tomorrow when I finish colouring it in. So my theme today really is do a bit of colouring in if you want to. Doesn't matter how it turns out, does it? I enjoy doing that star. And I think I'm gonna enjoy this afternoon. Uh oh, got bits of paper in there. I'm going to enjoy colouring those in. Uh, because I don't think we ever, I think we're still children at heart, aren't we? I thought we wouldn't get a whole video done without a wolf from Nelson. So I'm going to uh, pick out tomorrow's. And the camera's held out. It's not fallen on my head and knocked us out. So, so far, so good. Right. Let's have a look who this it's is. <laughs> Stop it now. They're not going to laugh now. You said that yesterday. I love him really. This is a, from AK Rose. Lovely. We've got a snowman. We've got candy and canes. So you could have candy canes or you can have your candy separate as in like sweets. Candy snowman. Chocolate ones. Can you? Yeah. No, because they're not oh, white the chocolate. Cane. Yeah. yeah so snowman candy and canes thank you so much for uh for joining us uh sorry you'll have, you'll have to let me know what the ak stands for what what your your, your name is your first name is that would be lovely and uh yes 
that's tomorrow's but today bubbles start and holly so i have a really lovely time i'm right enjoying doing this and uh yeah thanks for bearing with us and uh like and subscribe if you haven't done already please and uh, i'll see you all tomorrow guys take care out there bye for now <laughs>